Hey, welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. My name's Michael. Today we're going to learn how to make our own kazoos. Welcome to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We're in our hangar. I'm joined by one of our mods makers, Becky. Hi, how are you? I'm great, Becky. So I'm looking at the table here and I see some very simple things. What are we, what are we making today? Today we're going to be making a kazoo. A kazoo. What is a kazoo? So a kazoo is a musical instrument. Did you know there are three types of musical instruments? I can't play any, so I couldn't tell you that. But tell me about them. So there are percussion instruments where you bang on something and sound vibrates through a solid. Would that be like a drum? A drum, yes. a xylophone, like maracas. A all of those are going to be percussion instruments. And then there are string instruments like your violin. Oh, okay. And a, a string will vibrate. This one is a considered to be a wind instrument. So what we're going to do is hum. Do you know how to hum? Oh. It's from the throat. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think and I got then it. when you uh, use your humming, it will vibrate the wax paper. That's awesome. So let me let me just make sure I understand this. Everything we're using today, kids can find at home. Exactly. I had it in my house. You probably have them in yours. What we're going to be using today is a toilet paper tube. We're going to be using wax paper, a rubber band, some markers to decorate, and if you need it, a pair of scissors. Okay. So let me show you how this works. So we're going to take our toilet paper tube and we're going to place our wax paper on top. All right, Okay. Can handle that. Then you're going to put your rubber band around. Now, if you have a giant rubber band, let's do it twice so that it really holds it on okay. here. Okay. I think I got this. Okay. All right, and then if you don't like all the extra, we can cut them off. Let's get rid of all the extra here. Yep. These are pretty cool to have a sing-along with your family. Really? Or you can play a game. Did you know that? Have what you ever seen the one where you kind of hum a tune and then let people guess? It'd be a fun family evening where you just hum into your kazoo and see what's going on. And you know what, you know what I love about this? There's no technology. There is no staring at a screen. There is just us having a good time making some at-home crafts. So much fun. And you can also go outside and use it in a parade. Ah. You can have that there. So what's next here? Let's take our markers and we can decorate it any way we feel like it. Okay. Does your mom let you gonna... use markers? <laughs> The last time I used markers, I think I colored all over the wall. Oh, no. Well, you know, you can also glue stuff onto your kazoo. You can't okay. glue onto the wax paper, but anything onto the um, toilet paper tube would be great. So if you have pom-poms or you want to decorate with some pasta. What about glitter? Glitter is always a great choice. Fantastic. Or you could paint. Do you okay. like painting? I love painting. Yeah. And I know a lot of our viewers are going to enjoy this because they can pretty much do anything, all age groups. It can be anything from crayons, colored pencils, markers, and so on down the line. So once I add my designs, I just like happy faces. What are right. we doing next? So now it's time to try it out. So we're going to hum. Uh, let's try a uh, happy birthday. You want to try that? <laughs> That's such a, such a great idea. Let me ask you this question. If I don't want the wax paper as tight on there and I loosen that up, is that going to affect anything? Yeah, try it out. A lot of times if your wax paper is loose, it blows right off and you can't use your kazoo. So that's why I recommend that you have it. But if you have a little bit of a gap, it may um, vibrate a little bit more. I feel like if, yeah, so I, I think we're getting some deeper sounds. We can also get some lower sounds based on how we position that wax paper so on there. Another thing you could do would be to cut holes in yours, like a flute or a clarinet. And then as you put your fingers over it, it will have a lengthening or a shortening of the tube and that'll affect the sound. That's fantastic. All right. So thank you for joining us, Becky, and thank you for joining us. Bye, everybody. Bye. We want to thank the Layton family and Citrix for sponsoring this video. If you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe below.